We are here at the Dream Night 10 with Mick Foley, world-renowned author. Oh, and wrestler. Oh, yeah, thank you. And Sven Gulli. I've never written anything except bad checks. World-renowned chicken choker or something like that. Wait a minute. So, is it too late, do you think, for Sven Gulli to pursue a wrestling career? No, it's never too late. As a matter of fact, uh, this isn't uh, dream night for me. It's dream come true night. Because uh, we've been looking forward to working together for a long time, you know, I've been out and about on the road and you hear things about people, don't get a chance to necessarily see them, but uh, we have a mutual friend named Jill Thompson yeah. who illustrated a couple oh, of my Oh, the comic books. book illustrator? Yes, yeah. that person. And, uh, she's good. She's been telling me about Sven Gulli's work for some time and uh, if it's good enough for Jill, it's good enough for me. That's very okay. nice, thank you. So, would you be a good guy or a bad guy? I think actually I'd probably have to be like an enhancement guy, as they call them, which are the guys that always lose to somebody who knows how to wrestle. You know? I made a pretty good living losing. Did you? I, I, <laughs> oh, what? What's he look? Yeah. Oh, and, okay. We're focused on on the wrestlers. No, no. Oh, I'm sorry. Hi, ladies. Hi. You can go back to taking your pictures. I think the last guy who was as well known for losing as me was uh, General Lee in the Civil War. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but that was a big that was a big romantic. victory for you. Yeah, yeah. I thought I could be a manager maybe. Because, you know, I've got the weapon here already. Rubber chicken, I have to yeah. put a lead pipe in it or Devastating. something. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, I can just run around the ring like a chicken with its head cut off, and I might have some success. So you stay busy tweeting all the time, I see. You know, I just took a week off just to prove I could do it. I was uh, thinking I might be a tweetaholic, uh, so I went Is there a 12-step program for that? No, you, just, you can only cut yourself off immediately. Uh, but then you end up missing out a lot of, on a lot of cool stuff. Uh, I did a Twitter campaign for Rain, which is uh, the country's largest anti-sexual assault program group, rather, and uh, we raised a lot of money because it was done on Twitter almost exclusively. It cost zero dollars to advertise. And auctioned and we, off a lot of stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. We raised a lot of awareness. We raised a lot of money. So it's tough to say that it's uh, it's all bad, but I think uh, everything's okay in moderation. All right. So uh, I'm trying to only tweet when I really have something to say. You know, he actually does as much good as Oprah, but he doesn't put his picture on every issue of his magazine. <laughs> Not even in the same category as Oprah. That's just Chicago after all, right? Yeah. I do it on a much smaller, uh, smaller level. Again. All righty. Thank you, gentlemen. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Gentlemen. Okay.